It's been hot. Yes, it it's is. It's only going to get hotter. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, then the summer starts. Yeah. Yay. So that's all I, got I feel for like you. it started two weeks ago. Yeah, it's, it's been very warm. It's temperatures. Boy, we got close to the 90 degree mark at Kenner. Not quite there yet. Hit 89 degrees. We're currently 79. Dew point of 70. Winds out of the east southeast at 11 miles an hour. So we still have a little bit of a breeze. Not much. And during the day, we've had a bit of a breeze. But as the upper ridge starts really strengthening over us, that's what's keeping us mostly dry and allowing us to warm up. Probably going to suppress much in the way of any winds over the next couple of days. 70s outside right now, probably going to stay only in the 70s overnight tonight because dew points are in the 70s and though they may come down a few degrees, it'll be another mild night and mild morning to start the day tomorrow. Again, still a little bit of a breeze or at least enough that the wind is not just stagnant. That's when it starts to feel really miserable and at least we've had a bit of a wind over the last couple of days. Mostly clear skies, although on our visible or excuse me, our infrared satellite, you can still see a little low cloud in this hanging around here and there, but generally speaking, we'll be clearing out through the rest of the night and a lot of sunshine all the on the way for tomorrow. Shriver is where we go down for our local forecast at 90 degrees for a high today. Again, or 90 degrees for tomorrow. And we did see a few locations hit 90 degrees today, just not at Kenner. So officially with MSY being kind of our almanac location, we have not yet hit it, but that is likely going to happen. We'll stay mostly dry this week. So if you were hoping for a few cooling showers, Probably not near record temperatures or we could possibly tie or maybe one day this week break the record and then we will see some weekend showers on the way. Now, I'll talk about that in just a moment. Our forecast at highs coming up for the next couple of days, low 90s records on those days. Very, very close to either being tied such as tomorrow, Wednesday, maybe broken on Thursday, tied again on Friday. Then by Saturday, the record is 96. That one is safe. Plus, I think we'll stay in the 80s as that rain chance increasing for the weekend will likely increase our clouds and with a few cooling showers, maybe prevent us from getting into the 90s like we had been. The upper ridge very apparent across the central part of the nation. These were today's highs where even folks in Lincoln, Nebraska, Des Moines, Iowa got into the 90s, upper 80s in Minneapolis. Minneapolis was only two degrees away from our high today, although not nearly as humid up in Minneapolis. They actually have a little storm system moving across the northern plains. That's the upper ridge. We're also watching this big upper trough. This is actually the same system that brought us our rainfall last week, moved out into the uh, off the east coast and is still sitting in the western Atlantic. This upper feature is likely going to start to get closer and is being monitored for maybe some kind of subtropical development doesn't look like it would be anything particularly potent. And in fact, as it starts to move inland, we're going to see another trough that will bring us a rain chance for this weekend and then begin kicking that feature away. So our focus really is going to be on this upper ridge, which is going to really increase temperatures across not only us, but the entirety of the central part of the nation. What might help the East Coast out is this upper trough, bringing them some rainfall. Upper trough starts moving in. Another upper trough coming in from the West will begin to kind of squeeze the ridge and we it. So that should allow for at least a few showers as we head into this coming weekend. And our rain chances, though, at the moment, I'm keeping a hover around 40%. So at the moment, it doesn't look like a great deal of rainfall. Certainly not an organized system, per se, bringing us rain, but certainly a better chance of it. And we will definitely need it after the next several days of dry and hot weather, with highs getting into the low 90s, and then with a little bit more cloudiness and those showers, plus the upper ridge breaking down, that should keep us more into the upper 80s, which is at least a little closer to normal. These highs of the upper 80s is more typical of late May and early June. So we're not there yet. And we're not there yet, but it's, it's not right. But we haven't hit 90 yet. That might happen at least one day this week. You know, Brooke just.